This is a bag full of waste and guess what? Its life is gonna change thanks to these three guys. Oh wait, you don't know them. Wait, sorry, I forgot. Let me tell you the whole story. It all started with this guy, Sandeep Patel. He studied in London and came back to India in 2002. He liked waste management, but he did not do that. We'll come back to it later. Between 2002 and 2011, he set up a travel agency, a BPO, a chemical trading unit. But guess what? In 2011, he shut down everything and started waste management. Everyone said, He called his associate from his previous business. He was zipping chai. He said, Ravi, let's recycle. Just for your information, everyone calls him Dada Bhai. And they started Nepra, one of India's leading dry waste management companies. They started traveling extensively to research and they met everyone. Waste pickers, Ek din kaam hai, do din hai, batao aap. transporters, market is unorganized and unreliable, one point of contact to chahiye. recyclers, and they even met the President of the United States. <laughs> they realized that the waste management market was unorganized and unstructured. They needed to solve this. We need technology for transparency and scale. For recyclers, we need one point of contact. And fair payment and bigger wage generators. Wait a minute. Who's this guy? Drumin Patel. Alright. So, they got bigger waste generators like hotels, malls, restaurants, industries on board and they structured the middle part by bringing transparency and inclusion for waste pickers. And all this was synchronized and managed by a software that they developed themselves. They became a platform. So, here's how it works. Your dry waste is collected by collection vans from homes, schools, hospitals, malls, colleges, hotels, basically any place that generates waste by registered drivers linked to the ERP app. They collect dry waste from registered waste pickers, Thus at A double zero. input their items and pay them a fair price. The entire process is controlled, monitored and live tracked from the support office. The entire value chain involved is effectively put to use with fair payouts. By the time the truck reaches the facility, all the information is updated in real time and cross-checked by the supervisor. From there, the bags are unloaded and fed to the machinery. The dry waste is processed in the automated system designed by Nepra, using optical sorting and prepared as per recycler requirements as a commodity. Meanwhile, the team at the Nepra facility has daily strategies to ensure the system flows smoothly. This team is led by JK. The segregated items arrive at the post-sorting belt for final segregation and quality check. Finally, different items arrive at the baling area. They are compressed or shredded and the material is ready for dispatch. Out of the total input, 90% is recycled into various commodities like t-shirts, pipes, buckets, garbage bags, etc. And the remaining 10% is sent to the cement companies as refuse derived fuel. This means zero waste. Homes, waste, recycles, sales and back to homes. This helps to build a happy and sustainable circular economy. Nepra's t-shirts are also made out of recycled waste, marking their commitment towards sustainability and recycling. Ahmedabad is home to a 75 feet high pile of waste and these three guys want to stop it. Bilkul. Ab Since their inception in 2011, they've gone from a manual waste segregation force to a fully automated one. They are now one of India's leading waste management companies. Nepra's Let's Recycle initiative is already making a huge impact in Ahmedabad and it's eager to go pan-India. By 2025, they will be in 25 cities working with over 50,000 waste pickers. So, Whenever you think of dry waste, think Nepra.